What? Uh, oh, where's the bicycle? So glad. Of course I know. It's my bike. Um, there were a few of those bicycles, and I've heard a couple of, of different places where a couple of them are. Um, I own two of them. One of them I still have, and the other I have is on loan to the Hollywood Museum. Which, if you have not been there, I get nothing out of this, but it's, it's incredible, actually. Um, <clears throat> I said this every night back to the audience at uh, LA, uh, at Club Nokia, my show just closed in February, that two incredible museums here in town, many museums, three actually I can think of, uh, if you don't know them, um, Museum of Jurassic Technology is an incredible place. Anybody who's never been there should Google that or check that out and see, see what that is, because it's, it's a fake museum that's incredible. Um, the Hollywood Museum, which is in the Max Factor historic, the historic home of Max Factor on Highland Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard, um, and uh, right around the corner, it has a Johnny Rocket or something next door to it. It's Mel Steiner, thank you. It's phenomenal. It's it's incredible. It has me three or four floors worth of incredible movie memorabilia, including my bicycle, and. Um, the third one, did I already say the Grammy Museum? The Grammy Museum, um, downtown at LA Live is really fascinating and interesting too. Um, this is a little name dropper, right, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, the bike that I, that I currently still have is uh, gonna go sometime this summer in the fall to the Smithsonian. <laughs> Kidding. I thought it was a practical joke to begin with, particularly because I had offered to, I tried to get Cherry in the Smithsonian many years ago, and they were like, no thank you, um, pass. So actually, there's a very, it seems they have not decided final, 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 but I would not be surprised if both Cherry and uh, my bike and several other things, the Jobby the Genie box, um, go to the Smithsonian to be part of a show opening in 20... 2012, I believe, that is, um, has a 20 year floor life uh, there at the Smithsonian um, on pop culture. And I'm really, again, I'm really serious. I don't want anybody to, to be scarred like I was scarred seeing all the Disney movies when I was a kid. Um, for real. I'm, uh, and, and evidently, I only know this little tiny bit um, from my own personal experience, but this one moment in my film is sort of up there on that same. I wouldn't say it's as scary as the Wicked Witch or the Stepmother by any means, but it's up there. It's in that it's in that same category. So when the truck driver starts to tell her story to me in the truck, that's when it's going to happen. Okay. So at the end of that little sequence, and it's a brief little sequence, she's going to say, and it looked like this, and that's when you want to cover your eyes. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad everyone thinks it's funny, but you won't think it's funny. Like, like, if you're under 10, I think like you're going to be scared by this. You're going to be scared, because the rest of the movie's not scary at all. So I hope you enjoyed the movie. Thank you so much for coming, and I'll talk to you afterwards.